Hello traders, welcome back to another new video. So today I'm going to discuss about a trade I took. I'm going to explain my thinking process behind a trade and I'm also I'm going to focus on a very important point that is the psychology. How the psychology can help you to master the trading skill that is required to be a profitable trader. Okay. So uh, talking about the today's trade, see uh, in the morning we entered a put over here and 38,000 was somewhere my target for the trade and here we booked the 80% of the target. Okay. And after that, you see a huge fall was seen in the market. Now this fall came into the market due to a news flash from uh, the China part. That is there is a tension going on between US, Taiwan and China and China did some extracurricular activities and for that reason market fall down. But uh, if you see in the morning itself, we entered here somewhere like nine o'clock and 17, 18 minutes. Okay. 920, 920. We bought put option at 275 and you see here when the market touched the 38,000 level, we booked somewhere at 464 so almost the money was doubled and i said our main target was done so we keep always keep some quantity trailing so we don't know when the market is going to make a big move right so whenever it does we should capture a move so here we see a last update was given when the market came here and i thought okay this is a kind of good support so we thought of again giving a small indication to the members so these are the members who are joined with me these are the paid members so whenever I see a good trade, I give them. And so I, I took the trade, same trade. But when I'm holding a trade, the quantities are less. When I'm doing a scalping trade, the quantities are high. And today we're going to specifically talk about the scalping trade, which I took here. Okay, so what was the logic and everything I'll try to explain. So first thing, what you have to understand here is when the market falls huge, you see a huge fall. So what happens? A lot of people go into a FOMO. FOMO is called as a fear of missing out. That means market has fall. It might fall further more and I want to make profit. So people enter randomly uh, enter into the market here, here. And what happens? Market goes a little bit down and market reverses and you get a huge losses. So this is where the beginners uh, mostly struggle to make profit in the market because when they want to make profit, market basically gets reversed. Okay. So what I did, okay. After this particular move, I waited with the patience. So first thing to get profitable in market, you will be requiring that is called as patience. Okay. And the second thing that is discipline. So patience is to wait for a particular setup to form a good setup to form in the market. And discipline is when, when you enter a trade, you should follow your risk to reward. There should be some sort of analysis on which you'll be taking the trade. So first thing, what I observed was the market was in range. So whenever the market breaks the range, it shows a good move. And those who are watching my uh, analysis video for last one year, you'll be, you might be knowing, I always say on Thursday, if you find a range, wait for the range to break, you'll get a good move. Okay, same thing I also did. So if you see here, the market was in range, a good range. And what happened? There was other view as well. If you see there was a trend line as well here, right? Plus you can, some people might be thinking this as a head and shoulder as well. So a lot of indications giving that market has to come down, little bit move can be done. So I was looking for a scalping trade. Now what is scalping? Scalping is a small trade where you buy a good quantities for a very small risk for a good reward. So minimum risk to reward, which I go with is one is to two. Okay. And scalping trade goes for max like one or two minutes. So my uh, fastest scalping trade was somewhere like four seconds, but this uh, trade was somewhere like for 40 seconds in 40 seconds, I was able to capture more than one is to four trade. Okay. So risk to reward I got was doubled. So here I took the entry. Okay. When the market crossed this particular level, I took the entry and within one single candle, I got one is to four risk to reward. I bought at 316 rupees and somewhere like 360 rupees. I booked my particular profit. Now, why I did book the book the profit? Because if you see one more candle continued and that would have given me at least one is to 10 trade. Okay. So it would, could be, it could be the one of the best trade here. But the reason why I told you why I'm discussing or why I'm making this video is we have to also focus on the second part that is discipline I talked about. Okay. So you know what the risk to reward you took. You got double than that. So it's time to book the profits because in the scalping, you got various fraction of seconds, uh, like small time to think about what to do and what not to do. So you have to think fast and take a steps accordingly. So I booked the profit and you don't have to feel bad that you move this, uh, or you miss that particular move. Okay. Because it's not on the profit what you have to focus because one big profit is not going to ever make you a big amount of the money. Okay. It, you might make it, but within, within few next days, you might be losing it as well. So focus on small, consistent profit on a daily basis. And this is how only a trader will grow his account and he'll be profitable in the market. So a small trade I took, a good profit I was captured. So I think I, I was able to explain the logic, the reason and the psychology behind taking the trade. 
and if you do understand this particular video make sure to like it so that it gives me a motivation to make more such kind of videos and also make sure to share it with your friends and family so they also got uh, some sort of learning maybe this video might help them and they also might be uh, moving one step closer to the successful trader or you can say profitable trader so that's all for today thank you so much